What's up, Homestead homies? It's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. And I'm Stacy. And right now we're going to show you our new morning routine here on the Homestead. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> learning about the pond. Pretty much his first trips down to the pond and he just doesn't know what to do yet. Go on little buddy. Go on in, it'll be fun. You guys make sure you leave those comments on our solar oven video about the name of the duck. Maybe we should name him Wimp Wimpy, because he's not going in the water. There, it's fun in the water. <laughs> What's his deal? What does it say, a duck out of water? He doesn't know what to do. What's up, Homestead homies? Did you like that epic cat fight at the beginning of this video? <laughs> so what we've been doing is we've been walking the duck down to the pond, uh, trying to get it acclimated to uh, maybe going on a morning walk and then swimming and then an evening walk or something. Um, we're not sure what we're going to do yet uh, as far as housing goes so far. Um, underneath the lattice in the front porch is like a place he's adopted for his little duck house, but I, I probably plan on uh, using the uh, A-frame for a duck house. And then they could come out in the morning and walk down to the pond, hang out there during the day, and then come home at night. Okay, so we're going to be working on that and showing you guys some videos. Right now, though, what we're going to be doing is deep mulching our blackberries. Um, we've got some cardboard here. that We're going to use this as a weed barrier. Also, this will promote uh, the worms to come up. They'll feed on this as it gets wet, and then that'll promote worms in the uh, mulching area. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to kind of get this uh, fit and kind of tucked underneath here. Uh, down the row here and then on our three plants that we 
planted in the, the video right here I'll link and then um, then we'll get the mulch and the good news is uh, the tractor is in full working order now so we'll be able to scoop and go baby so hang on and I'll show you guys how this works out you're gonna do like a deep mulch so that's another reason why I'm putting down the cardboard we're just doing a kind of a small area right now until I can figure out how much mulch I actually do have versus how much I'm gonna be needing for our progress uh, project so I'm just kind of, you know, doing what I can with what I got and then we'll add to it later. So I'm going to start mulching this row of blackberries right here uh, with this great mulch that I have. Um, and actually in our area you can get mulch um, for free. They have big piles of it. All you have to do is do the labor, you know, loading the truck and bringing it back to your uh, location. So that works out pretty good for us. A lot of times, you if you look hard enough, you can find it, you know. Or if you see, um, you know, like somebody trimming trees in your neighborhood or in your area, usually if you stop those trucks and ask them to drop off piles, the uh, mulch piles, the chip piles that they put in the back of the truck, they'll do that because in the city areas or, or a little more congested areas, they actually have to pay money every time they dump that off. So to dump it off at your house for them is a win-win. All right, I'm gonna get this going and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done. All right guys, so what I wanted to show you is, um, remember we put in the gravity fed cistern, rainwater catchment from uh, rainwater from gutters to faucet. This is the lawn hydrant that we put in and you can see um, I'm watering the mulch that we just installed here so I can get the cardboard wet, even though we do have some rain coming. But I mean, as long as I keep the wand on, now if I lift the wand up here, obviously it's gonna come out crazy. But for what we need to do in the garden, this is gonna work superior, okay? No pumps, um, water comes out plenty good. And this is on a 100 foot hose that we had, um, that we're using right now, a 100 foot hose. So I'm just trying to water the cardboard so um, it's not keeping, uh, so it's helping to keep some moisture in now just in case it doesn't rain, because you know how it is. They say it's gonna rain, it never rains. They say it's not gonna rain, and then it rains. So we're gonna keep on moving with uh, mulching up these rows, and then I'll be back with you. All right, guys. So you can see we got we got it mulched both beds. Also, what this is going to do is going to provide a, like a compost tea every time that it rains or we water it. The nutrients are going to suck down through the soil and really benefit the blackberries. It was kind of a quick video, I know, just kind of showing you guys what's going on. Um, I'm enjoying my apple a day; it keeps the doctor away. Did you know why that saying is so true? Because when you eat the apple and you eat the seeds. The seeds actually have a little bit of arsenic in them, and they, they actually help you. Uh, go net flying around. I forgot my Stacy's uh, bug spray that we'll link right here. <laughs> but they they actually have a little bit of arsenic in them, and when you eat them apple every day, it helps your body stay in check. So check it out. Look into it. Um, we're gonna catch you guys on the next episode. Don't forget to check out the solar oven video and uh, drop off some uh, ideas about what we're gonna name that duck. This is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug, and we'll check you guys out on the next episode. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. It's gotten a little bit more liquid in it. As you can see, there's some...